What up dudes, my name's Pixel Tricks. welcome back to Pokemon Moon. So today, we are chilling here on round 8, and we are going to catch another Ultra Beast. No way dudes. I hope it's a Grimer. A Lolan Grimer. Who's a dish? Oh, here you are at last, Pixel Tricks. Hello. Oh hey, it's the Fairy Lady. I've already been able to gather all the intel we need about the UVs this time. So the Chief has already left to help secure the site and protect the surrounding areas. No, Ubi 3 Lightning. 100 KR? Hello. This pre-conscious young lady here was my informant this time. What? They sent me here on an errand. Since I'm not busy doing trials or anything. You never do trials, huh? Who's this? It's a secret. Oh, and I had one uh, more order I was giving. Or was it a request? Either way. What might that be? I was told I should have a real serious battle with Pixatrix before I came back. I don't really know why, but it seems like maybe it's some sort of trial of strength? So come on, let's have a battle. Have a poke- hold on. Shocking, you want me to wait? Fine then. I guess I can wait. So I didn't- no one told me about this. I literally- well, she is a fairy trainer. I'm going in with two pokes. Two real pokes that are leveled up. Okay, let's go. Alright. Let's get this going already. Time for Mina to show you her full power. We'll get our Z on. So I'm about to destroy this lady. Is the background going to be like the hotel room? That'd be hilarious. Whoa, she's diamond rainbow magic. Just five Pokemon. Are we in the... This is just... This is not a tile floor. In here. That's fine. Check out my girly throat. Oh, Clef Key! Well, I have nothing to hit this with. I actually have nothing to hit this with. Uh oh. Oh no. Dom. Aya. Save me. <laughs> Thankfully, I have the two Pokemon that actually uh, can deal with this lady, hopefully. Oh, they're sent up reflect. Of course they are. That's annoying. That's ah, fine, though. It's just bummering this thing. Doesn't have levitate. Bam. Even though it's clearly levitating. Can I please get three damage? I, I've i only ever hit two of those. I, uh... That almost kind of hurt. Stop. Bam. Huh. Guess you could say, Clefki got bones. Oh, that was a good one, dude. Nice. Yeah, I have all my Alakazams for the proper natures, as you can see. Nice! Golbat! Other Alakazam! Okay. So, now, Zeki should be able to clean up. Yeah? Oh yeah, they're, they're screwed. Okay. Zeki, get out there. Show them the power of pollution. The power of pollution. Damage, intimidate, and the screen. Okay. Hit. Please. Nice. Oh, it's all gunky now. Blah. Oh my god, that did nothing. Damage. Oh shit, you carry Earthquake? Oh no. Oh no. Dumb. This is, this is, this is not good. Dumb. Hit. Yes! Okay, got very lucky. Then we'll get a little more Black Sledge recovery afterwards. I don't think they, they have anything else they can hit me so much. God, it's a kind of sketchy not running like a normal poison move that um has normal hit ratio, you know? That'd be more than enough to deal with this person. Okay, Reflect is off at least. Shenotic? Aw, man. Okay. Well, he's still gonna die though. Nice! Seki is landing all of these. Wow! Ultra dead. Yep. Sorry. Uh, try again, please. Alakazam! Gladion! Nice! Okay. Well, cool. Wigglytuff. It's annoying, Mon. <laughs> okay. Dude, hit him with the gunk shot. Damn it! 
At least they didn't use, like, scene or something. That'd be annoying. Why are you doing this? There's Ultra Beasts. They're gonna kill literally everyone. I have one left. And they didn't hit. Shit. Oh, oh no. This could be really bad. Okay. Knockoff is not gonna do anything to this thing. You don't have an item, do you? It did nothing. But I got the poison touch. Ugh, Wigglytuff, stop! No! Shucky! Shit! Dude, they're mega cheating. Okay. I didn't want to have to do this. I'm gonna send out the big guns. Ram. Okay. I actually did want to do this. Um... Bone Marine? Bam? Yes. Okay, good. I'm gonna flare blitz whatever wants to come out. And it's not gonna like it. It's definitely not gonna like it. This is my last mine. Okay. Oh, yeah. This thing's just dead. This thing's just mega dead. This is a very fa fast Pokemon, though. Dumb. And it's carrying Psychic. Of course. Well, it did nothing. Okay. Bam, bam, boom, 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 bam. This is actually a very strong Pokemon. Rebombi. <laughs> it's a cute little design, too. Nice. Aya, you did it. You saved me. My friend. And it was easy. Alakazam. Alakazam. Well, I'm shocked at your strength. It was easy. Okay. Someone want to evolve? Yes! Nice! I thought it was getting close to getting uh, max happiness. Or at least getting up there. Dude, how cool! Well, here's a uh, another Pokedex entry in the bank, dudes. Dude. Crobat. How cool. A speedy mon. Look at us. Nice. Blah. Oh, what a cool third design, huh? Pretty different from the others, but it works. 100%! Hot diggity, look at you, you're on fire. You filled up all the Pokemon in a single page. You did it, the Meme Island Pokedex is complete. You really are something, 100%! That Pokemon, selling swift in its four-wing flight, it bites down on its prey before they realize what's happening. In a heartbeat, it drains their blood. Blah. Oh, how cool. Oh, how fun. What is it? Boss poison? Of course you're gonna live. That's like the best move in the game, pretty much. Yeah. I taught the sunny day and then rain dance uh, back and forth to raise, it to raise its affection. Because that actually works. Yeah. Just a couple times, though. Ah. Oh, how cool, dudes. Who's this? Well, you, you're surprisingly strong. Uh, then it's no problem. Turns out you're strong enough. Picks the tricks. It was easy. It seems like my um, precautious young miss here is not to be trialed with either. Okay, I'm out of here. Bye. She's cool. She's rather odd, isn't she? A real individual spirit. But now we should get our heads on straight and get to work. I do not like it, but I'm in charge of backup once again. And for you, Pixatrix, the beast balls that you will need for the mission. Hey, thanks. First, the regular reports let us get them out of the way, my young friend. Madam Wiki finished analyzing all the data we gathered in the last UB you caught. If you wish to learn about that creature, you should speak to Madam Wiki in the Aether Paradise Secret Labs. Now it's time to get to work. If you need to ask me anything, I'm right here. Bye, Looker. Apparently, Looker is from a previous Pokemon generation. I didn't know that, because I never played Gen 4. I believe, yeah, uh, so... Apparently he's from that game, which is cool. What a throwback. Uh, according to the late YouTube comment. So, have fun. Okay, so Crobat is fully evolved and they're taken care of. So in the meantime, here's what we're gonna do. First of all, let's get our Alakazams in order. I brought these two just um, to eat up hits if I need to, but for now, we're gonna retire you to the box. Who wants to be next? 
Hmm. Oh my god, you're modest. That's so sad. I think Vanny is actually getting up there. And then we have these four that we have to take up. Dude, we are almost done with the Pokedex. It's exciting. Okay. So if I recall correctly, we are going to be getting um, a Pokemon named Zerkatry that is should be in this forest, which is pretty cool. I'm going for a modest nature and a timid nature. There's two Zerka trees, and this is for both Pokemon Sun and Moon. As you can hear, there's the music. I know, I'm just double checking to make sure I'm recording before I save. Okay. Nice. Let's save up and try to catch an Ultra Beast. And go in the grace. Oh, this is a normal book. I guess I'll skip ahead to when I, um, find our ubi friends, our ubisoft. You know, real talk, before I go, I want to say, people always talk shit about ubisoft. Have you noticed that? I mean, maybe they have a slip ups now and again, but a lot of the games they've made, I really enjoy. Ubisoft makes good games. I know it's going to random out of nowhere. I just want to put that out there, though. They're cool. Okay. I guess I'll be right back. Dude, it's a Grimer! There it is. That quick took quite some time, actually. There it is. Zerka tree. It's a bunch of wires. Kind of far out, right? Special attack really sharply. Okay. Well, hopefully we get at least one nature correct. If not, I think I may reset because I want to try some different sets for this thing. So, let's throw a beast ball and hope for the best. We've been gotten pretty lucky so far. But it looks like a run is luck has run out. It's a discharge. I, I like when it attacks it like uh, goes on the ground like that. Oh no, got that beast boost. Boosting its special attack. This is exactly why we brought Aya. Because I have the lightning rod technique. Ability rather. Okay. Just gonna throw one more and then I guess we'll start putting some damage on this thing. I don't know if that has any moves to actually hit me with. I guess we'll find out if it breaks free. But let's see. Yep, it saw I and was like, nah. <laughs> I'm staying in here, where it's safe. Okay. Aya pulling through yet again. How cool. Zerkatry, the glowing Pokemon. Check it out, it glows too, you'll see. Bam, nice. How cool. Look at that, clean 100%. Yeah, you see the glowing? Glowing Pokemon. It appeared from the Ultra Wormhole. It raided a power plant, so people think it energized itself with electricity. What a cool Pokemon. Okay. So it's raiding. Because it raided the electrical plant. And it's topical because he's the Thunder God. <laughs> nice. Alright then. And we get Modest Nature. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted, actually. Well, nice. So that is one of two. Now, there's one more left. And I will be... Oops, didn't mean to hit Rotom Pokedex right there. Now we're going to be switching our Alakazams off our fronts with our other one. This is my Timid Nature one. Just making sure. Hey, I got the right one. No. No, actually. I just got Modest just naturally. What is it with me getting so lucky with these natures? Yeah, my timid one um was already in front. I am actually getting extremely lucky here, dudes. I don't think it matters if they're fainted or not. Um, I think their effect still lingers, but I just want to be sure. Because I would really like to get a timid nature one. I'm pretty sure its special attack is already really high as it is. So, I'm going to run around a little more and try to find this thing. And I guess I'll be right back. Hey, man, I just got comfortable too. <laughs> I was like slumped back in my chair. <laughs> I just got like to the perfect position. Oh boy. Okay. Let's get up to the mic a little bit. All right. <laughs> There's my timid nature. I like to in the front again. And we're just going to go ahead and throw this beast ball because they have a very high chance of actually working. Hopefully it does. Either way, we got some uh, things in the back that can take care of this guy. Gonna get discharged again. Alright, fair enough. 
I'm sorry, Alakazama. Special attack, Rose. It's an eye, then. Ball mm. swipe. Hypnosis. Oh, goodness. Poor Aya. <laughs> She's sleepy. Alright then. Well, I guess let's just throw some beast balls. I don't think this thing really has anything that can really hit me. I guess we'll find out. Maybe. I should have looked at its moves. What's it got? Yeah, discharge is not gonna work, sir. Hmm. Why well, don't want to get rid of all my beast balls here, but it looks like I really don't have much of a choice. This one's giving me problems. Has electric terrain, hypnosis, discharge, and one other thing. Interesting. Hmm. Shit! This power web. It's not gonna do anything. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Why well, is awake now? Yeah. We're gonna eat a bunch of power whips for days. We'll be fine. Yeah. This thing is nothing. <laughs> That's fine by me. I, I've just been so lucky before by just throwing the beast balls. This one's being very resistant for some reason. Let's get it all the way down to one if we can. Stop hurting my friends. Bam. Nice. Feel sad, look bad. Beast ball go. What should not even be the nature I need? I'm gonna be salty. I'm gonna reset if it isn't. Just keep trying. Okay, we got it. <sighs> Lovely. I guess they don't have that high of a catch rate if that one was giving me some problems. Alright. Oh, it's cool. Well, let's see. Timid nature. No, well, you know what? It's fine. We got our nature. No need to reset. And that is both of the ones that we wanted. This Abatrick, well, it takes a while to breed all of them that you need. And it can be kind of annoying. Look at these results. We got both the natures that we wanted first try. And that's pretty cool. And we still have extra beast balls. I think the next beast that we try to get, we'll probably uh, get more of them too. So, it's all good. Nice. I think this next one after this is going to be very cool. Before we go into the mode cell, I am going to heal my Pokemon. Because they did a job well done, dude. Apparently you can just put your Pokemon on the PC and that will heal them. And then you can just take them out if you only have a few Pokemon that are injured. I didn't know that. I guess we have to check that out sometime. That's cool though. Alright. So. Let's see. I think for Timid, we're good. Next, we'll be going for a careful nature, first of all. And then we'll go for modest. And finally, we'll go for a sassy nature. That will be all of the Ultra Beasts. Let's see what we got right now, though. Where are those friends? There they are. Start a collection, dudes. Just like lose a mean. <laughs> yeah, look at him. How cool. These Alakazams are putting in work. Huh. Well... I suppose we can start raising you next. Oh yeah, I'm trying to get the easier ones out of the way first. <laughs> I need to raise this thing's affection. Hopefully, um... Oh, you know what? No. Who should we bring, dudes? How about you? For grinding. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Typically when I do grind, I like to have um, the Pokemon I'm trying to level up in front first. I guess you can go first. And then I switch out. Because they get more experience that way, even if experience share is on. 
That's just how it works. Alright, let's report back to Looker and tell him of our shenanigans that we had. What is it? Finish the mission. Nice. I finished sending the data of the oob you protected to HQ and Miss Wiki as well. Thank you for your hard work. We will unravel the mysteries of Zerkatry, also known as UB Lightning. Uh, are you alright, ma'am? Yeah, I'm fine, Mr. Looker. I just felt a passing vertigo, but I'm fine. Please do not worry yourself. But I must. I insist on worrying. You have always had the stamina of a Ma Champ Chief. I cannot let this not be talked about. No, please, it's nothing so serious. I'm sorry for causing you to worry about me. I insist that I really am fine. Suck it up, Chief. Putting all that aside, I must say that we have found a great ally in Pixelatrix. What a fantastic trainer. It was all that I could do is simply keep the circuitry away from the town. The oobs seem to have seem to get terribly aggressive when they spot me. It's like they're treating me as prey or an enemy. I, I am sure that is only your imagination, Chief. You must be exhausted. It's Nanu! I let myself in. Mr. Nanu. Nice sandals. Huh. <laughs> You've been keeping well? Y you are. Heh. <laughs> so it's you. 100kr or... Sorry. What is it now? Looker? Yes, it is. What's this? No smile for me. Here I am, coming out of my way to bring you the info about the oob you're searching for. Are you really the monster you're calling Blaster? It's on Ula Ula Island. I'll tell you more when you get there. In your information, is it all true? I'm the Kahuna of Una Ula Island. If you don't do something about that monster for me, our guardian's not going to be happy. I caught that guardian. Thank you for the information, Mr. Nanu. See you around. Ugh. Mr. Looker? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Looker, do I take it that you are acquainted with Mr. Nanu? I knew him once, I thought. Never mind that. Right now we need to focus on our mission. Of course. Yes, of course, you're right. If we have reports on a new oob setting, then our mission is our first priority. I will move to Ulu Ulu Island and prepare our new base in the motel there. Please join us. I will go there too. I trust you will too. The motel. Route 13. Okay, bye. Wait, was Nanu part of a previous generation of Pokemon? Because if Mr. Looker was a previous generation of Pokemon, does that mean Nanu must be too? Curious. That's so curious. I love saying that. So, I guess those are our Ultra Beasts for today. Before we wrap things up here, I'm going to get a couple evolutions for the decks, just off camera, of course. And then, uh, we actually have a fun little thing that we're going to do. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Whoa. Sandy Gas is evolving. Whoa, there was like a little mini picture for like a single frame of a scary looking Pokemon. Maybe I'm tripping. I think I saw a ghost. That was weird. Who's the Sandy Gas evolved into Palo Sand. Nice. It's an upgraded castle. <laughs> oh, cool. Level 42. Nice. Oh, cool. 187. Sandcastle Pokemon. Buried beneath the castle are masses of dried up bones from those who have vi its vitality is drained. Holy shit. Hey, my ice cream's evolving. <laughs> nice. You know, as kind of far out as this idea is, I will admit, this is a clean design Pokemon. Like, the design itself 
is actually pretty clean. It's pretty spot on. Even though the idea is kind of ridiculous. Like, look at it. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Pun intended. Nice. There is a rather annoying chain taken care of. First of all, it's rare to find. Uh, you have to SOS chain in the hail, which is a bitch in itself, but then you have to breed it and evolve it. But now it's all taken care of. Snowstorm Pokemon. Even if it loses one of its heads, it can live relatively problem-free and make snow clouds inside its body. Here we go. Oh, what a cute little dinosaur, huh? <laughs> How cool. Sarah. Land before time reference. How cool. Where's my little foot homie at? Oh god, you turn into a monster. Bastodon. It's a tower. <laughs> it's a tower head. <laughs> How funny. Bastodon. Bastodon. Shieldon. Alright. <laughs> That's silly. Shield Pokemon have lived in the same environments as Rampardos. Their fossils have been found together, seemingly from after uh, they fought to the finish. Oh wow. It's cool. Block? That's funny. You're a blockhead. And, yeah, just like that, we get another one too. Chain is evolving. Their final evolution is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. I know I have a lot of favorite Pokemon lists. <laughs> but I actually use a lot, it's really good. I like their second form too. Actually, all the forms look cool. Kuroko Rock. How neat. Actually, I'm missing one Pokemon that I have to catch. I think we're gonna do that afterwards. Just so I have it. That's also a long evolution chain too. Desert Croc Pokemon. Thanks to a special membrane covering its eyes, it can see its surroundings clearly, even in the middle of the night. They look like little sunglasses. How cool. Alright. Well, let's see. That's two more evolutions just right away, which is cool. Took me a little bit, actually, but uh, we got it taken care of. So that's neat. We got some more mons in our party. But I think that's enough grinding for today. It's gonna move because we actually have to catch something next. Even though Scoops is should be very close to evolving themselves. Um, I want to catch this one mon. So you're done. You still have a stage to go. I guess uh, Sloosh. <laughs> Sloosh. Sloosh can come with us. I forget when they evolve. I think it's some ridiculous like level 50, but they have to be in the rain. It might be only level 40, I don't know. Um, I missed a Pokemon, a really cool one too, in the desert area. So, you're going to go here, fly over there, and we're going to attempt to catch one. It's that little uh, pincer bug kind of Pokemon, not pincer, um, I forget what they're called, but they turn into dragonflies, turn into dragons. Oh, hey! I randomly came across the TM. It was only Dream Eater. <laughs> I was walking around the desert. Remember that TM from way long ago? And I was like, what is these? That's funny. Finally! Trap Inch! What a cool little Pokemon. I love this thing. Its evolution is really good, too. Nice! Oh, I really don't want to kill you after that long, long time trying to find you. Um, let's see if it'll just be our friends. How nice would that be? Um, looking luxury ball. We have 82. We do this literally all day. I guess I'll see when I find it, when I get it finally. Hopefully it'll just come with me. Yay! Trap inch. Trap inch. Nice. This thing's gonna pinch us, dude. So yeah, it was just a random like uh, encounter in the dusk encounter. 
Apparently it's low chance, it took me a while. But yeah, it's evolutions are cool. Sweet. Ant Pint Pokemon. As it digs through the sand, its giant claws crush any rocks that obstruct its path. It builds a funnel-shaped nest. Ooh. Okay. The Nippy. Because they're gonna nip ya. Bum, 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 bum. I wonder how long it's gonna take for this thing to evolve. Probably a while. I got Jolly Nature as Arena Trap. Interesting. Cool. Well, there you go. Okay. Well, we got a lot of stuff done today. I think we actually have to go here next time. <laughs> yeah. This is the fastest way to Route 13. It's funny. It's funny how that worked out. Well, dudes, um, I guess we'll save those shenanigans for next time. Uh, those grinding section, uh, sessions took me a little bit uh, longer than I thought it would be. So, yeah, I, I guess that'll be all for today. Um, I'm gonna heal up my minds. And then you'll level up Gladion's affection a little bit. Alright. Let's just go ahead and get our proper nature, Alakazams. Um. That would be my careful and modest. Okay. Switch you guys out. And there we go. Alright, you guys. Thank you for watching. Next time, we're gonna get a really cool Ultra Beast. It's a really neat one. Can't wait to show it off. Alright, thanks for watching, dudes. I'll see you guys later. Peace.